Hey everybody, we've changed locations on the boat now. Oh. We've gone down to the console, right, Scap? We're right. down here at the console. Wanted to show you the innovation here on the console. Again, with dual units, same concept. Going to run maps, going to run clear view, going to run traditional when I'm running down the lake. Got different transducers and parts of the boat to be able to help me do that. But Scap has rigged me up here in the boat for this new Z521L. And this console is different. It's bigger. It's mm -hmm. able to take a 16 inch inside of it. But when you're running double units, you're still going to need to do an external application. Right. Aren't we, Scap? And what you've done here is an external application for two side by side garments. Tell me about that. Well, we used to this pro size um, um, Beckett mount. So that allows you to mount it to the find a side by side. No matter what size, you can put a 2 12 inch in, in here. But the problem with that was. How are we going to mount this apparatus on a small little plate, which came from a factory? So we removed the plate and we made our own plate. So from a, a, a 16 of an inch aluminum, we went to half an inch. So that's a half inch half of this inch material, material that actually is setting in here. Right. And what's really cool about this scap is what did you do to the edges of this to make it fit in well, here exactly I, right? I actually increased the size in order to get more uh, support. So actually, uh, plate here is a little bit bigger than a normal plate, but will still fit the surrounding of the console. And uh, drill extra holes in order to support it better. And therefore, they gave us enough support to be able to mount all this decket bracket on it. And it's solid, absolutely solid. I mean, I can stand on this, it won't break off. And again, vibration, if you go ahead and go to any other kind of mounts where you put a second one on, you know, a lot of people use different kinds of mounts that are external, right. and you have to put it to your fiberglass of your boat. Go drill extra holes. <clears throat> so you're drilling through your, right. your structure in order to make that happen. And Still, you have a lot of vibration on those if you hit any kind of waves, which we hit waves, right. and we hit water. water, and it comes up, it knocks them back on you, and you have to deal with that. Here, it's clean. clean also, it's safe, and it's safe because your eye level, if you look where Scap right. is on this. I can still see. He's running. Yeah. He can see. I can see. And then he, but he can glance down to the electronics and tell him what's going on. So that way you've got it right there right at your eye level. Great way to do it. It's safe. It's compact. It's strong. And by the way, talk to me a little bit about the wiring to this. What did you do to the wiring in behind this? Well, you know, before you, you, got, you have to set up all of the wires accordingly. You know, what are you going to do? So you set it up, all the fuses they are on the inside. That's a one short fall, but the fuses they are on the inside. Uh, hopefully, we, in the next boat, we'll put a, a connector block where it can reach from underneath. So, but anyway, the wiring is all rounded the way it needs to be rounded, supported, zip tied, and, and so on. So, it get much better. As you can see, we put also split loom on all the wires so it's easy to service. And one more thing, it gave us a, this board here, it gave us a, a place where to mount the power pole. Switch right there. You know, we are fingertips. We out right. We are drilling the boat. You know, or maybe put a, a you know two-way tape on it. But this one here is nice and easy. And when you get done and you change, you can take this board out. You can put another one, or you can put a factory board back on it. Absolutely, especially if you change out units and you're going to go to different electronics, which some of you out there do. You change out to a different brand, or you right. may change out to a different size. Right. This makes it so much easier to do that. And if you've ever taken one of these off from the factory, you'll find out that a lot of those little holes that are in there are not very strong and they will strip out in a big hurry. What we've done here, and SCAP did this in the install, was put more screws in here, stainless, and that way then you're not going to have that. It's that going to be a cool. lot stronger Sounds and cool. a lot better way to do it. Yes, Check this out. You can get it off of his website or call him if you have an application for you, and that way you can get those for your boat too.